Very good, my friends. Did you buy the angling chair from Ikea and you want to know how to mount it? Or didn't buy you yet and you want to know if it's a good chair for you? Then if this is the video for you because we are going to take a look to the chair and then I'm going to show you how to mount it. it there is some complexity mounting this chair because every leg has to go in his position. Otherwise, it will move when you sit on the chair. At the end of the video, you will be able to see all the details of the chair because I will record from different angles. I bought four of these chairs and this is the fourth that I'm mounting and I have some problem with the first and the second one. The third one was okay and I said, okay, let's make a video because it's not that easy as it looks to mount these chairs. <laughs> The only additional tool we are going to need is one star screwdriver. Okay, first we are going to get these pieces I have here. Okay, these two pieces, and we use this screw here. And now it is the only time we need the screwdriver. Now we have to get this one that has this part flat, okay? And we need to get four like this, and we are going to put first this piece here, okay? And then this piece, okay? Like this, we do it four times. Okay, here we have all four ready. This is very important. The legs goes in a specific position. Okay, this one has one hole, so goes here, in this part that has one hole. Then we have this corner with two holes, then we have to find the one with two holes, okay? Here we have the leg with two holes, and then the other two doesn't have holes here. That means that goes in the part that doesn't have holes. Okay, let's mount first this one, for example. We are going to put it here like this. And what is very important, we are going to leave this screw here a bit loose. We can do it with the hand like this. Okay, like this is enough. It's a bit loose. Now the leg with two, in the position with two, for example. Now with the one with one hole here. And the last one. Okay, we have the four legs mounted there and the cross there. And let's check if everything is correctly mounted. Okay, we have the one hole corner with the one hole leg. No holes corner with no holes leg here and two holes corner with two holes leg. So it's correctly mounted. Now we are going to put the cross. Okay, to mount the cross is very simple. We just need to find the sides with this stick here, okay? And insert in the legs that has the hole for the stick. Like this. Okay. Now we need four screws and these pieces. We are going to insert these pieces in this position, like this. Okay, and we insert here. We are going to leave it low also. And then when we insert the screws through the hole, we have to make sure the screw is aligned like this. We have to mount all four. When all four screws are in position, we place the bank like this. We make sure it is flat, doesn't move to the side. And we start by screwing hard these screws. Okay, we have four to do. Okay. Now that we are finished with these ones, we are going to screw 
this one in the interior. Here there is only one side with three holes. So this makes very easy because here we have to align, find the three holes and insert it in the right position. Like this. And now, and now we have nine bolts and nine screws that we have to put on the bottom. I hope this video has been useful for you, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, thank you for watching and see you in next video.